Hey everyone, this is your girl, Coteria, and welcome back to my channel, My Opinion Vlog. Now y'all know the YouTube street's been fi on fire. All the social media platforms, like I said, has been litty lit. A lot of information has been exchanged, has been posted, so I've been everywhere. Y'all know Armand Wiggins last night, he was on his live on the Armand Wiggins show, and he basically spassed out on Tasha K, ex-friend, official King Payne. And so I said, you know what, since he let the cat out the bag and he kind of alleged some things and he alluded to a lot of things, I said, well, let me go to his IG, his Twitter, because, you know, a lot of these bloggers and celebrity post on different platforms. They post different things. So y'all know I'm a Bush baby. So I was over there. I seen some pre-recorded spaces. Y'all know I'm still learning, you know, um, Twitter you know, I'm just kind of coming across spaces. I'm finding out what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I only be on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok. So, but our mom was over there. He did a space with his followers. And I thought he was going to be throwing some shade um, about his ex-friend, Official King Payne. So I listened to the spaces, which is titled CD Cinderella. So I thought he was kind of giving his review. But like I said, they was talking about a whole lot of everybody, Cardi B, Joe Button, Malagro, Grams got mentioned, um, of course, Tasha K. you understand? So there was a lot of things said. They did talk about JT as well. So like I said, you know, I'm listening, I'm listening, and y'all know his followers, they chatting and going back and forth, this, that, and the third. Now, the reason why I'm going to play a little bit of this audio, because I seen early when I woke up this morning, where there were some type of... Um, Twitter exchange between Milagros Graham, which is Armand Wiggins' ex-friend, and this um, Paradise Paris girl who's just a blocker. She's a commentator, and I'm just finding out that she's kind of really popular on TikTok. I came across this young lady video, but I didn't know who she was. I thought she was just kind of like me, a regular person, you know, giving their opinion. And like I said, exit stage left. So she get into a Twitter exchange with the Milagros Graham girl because Milagros Graham was like, look, why y'all spinning false narratives with my name? And she was just saying, I did not um, talk about Cardi B's child. Okay, that was Tasha K. I didn't say she was hiding her child and she didn't want to expose her to the world because her skin was dark. That was Tasha K. But y'all use my name and y'all was kind of trying to gas gaslight the conversation. And I don't appreciate it. You went with Tasha K, and you was you did an interview, and I felt like you were playing with me. I, I felt like you were talking with that. Me. I would have felt that way, too. I forgot about and, that. And it followed that. up, and when it followed up, she made a couple more comments in between that deviated from the topic. And when she got back on the topic, she was like, and then you went talking to some girl. You went and talking to the same girl that talked about my fucking baby. And let me tell you what the bitch said. The bitch said, um, I was hiding my baby. I was ashamed of my baby because she was fucking dark skin and that's a fucking lie you know so cardi's ranting at this point but this is what she's saying that's a but fucking did he lie talk to Malacro? What him did he and talk? from my understanding she has an association to him the same she has with ak i don't know their relationship but cardi mentioned these things earlier but again i'm gonna give her credence because if i am in cardi's shoes i'm gonna say I would absolutely feel a way about you merging your platform to catapult people that have had a problem with me. And when I, I'm not responding to you the way that you want me to respond, it's absolutely a motherfucking issue. Oh, and let me go ahead and insert myself. Well, then that's clear why it was given like uh, at arm's length, kind of slightly fake. If she felt some type of way about that, because I, I didn't, I forgot about it. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I didn't really know that Belago said something about her baby. So that goes to show, bitch, when we did that interview and I told her I was going to do it or whatever, just me being associated with Milagro, girl, why Milagro over there giving like, she been putting me on, bitch, you probably single-handedly stopped my fucking bag with Cardi B. Oh, that's bitch, where she Because the, the bitch issue. probably looked at me and was like, girl, you friends with her. I'm not really going to fuck with you like that and just never told me. Because, girl, I didn't know that she was holding on to that. So if she was holding on to that with Joe Budden being an association, well, she damn sure was holding on to that with me taking pictures and going to lunch and doing interviews with the bitch. So I've been X off the list just by associating right. with her. Absolutely. That's so, so that's a fair I wish assessment. I would have knew that, though. It's, it's a fair assessment for sure. Because, and again, like, I can't blame Cardi because she kept I mean, inviting I mean, Joe. I can't blame her either. How I just wish I would have known that. 
it's a fair, and I'm gonna tell you why it's a fair assessment because for her, she, and this is not just her specifically. This is so bitch, I never you had a chance, everybody. girl. The minute she seen me with Milagro, I was clipped, and yeah. I just didn't know it. But the reason why it's a fair assessment, because I'm not going to sit here just because me and Cardi got it too, and I'm not a hater, I'm not going to lie or pretend that I don't feel a certain type of way for click, click baits and views. I don't give a fuck. But what I will say is, if I'm a person with a brand, it's in my best interest to protect everything and everyone around me. And if there is a person who is a bystander who has a media personality or a voice that is commentating on my life in a negative fashion, the last thing I want to do is attach myself to a a person who could be a middleman because you don't know their intentions they may right. be cool and not be messy but at the same time it's better to not run the risk at all so i get that but i just wish bitch, i would have known that and then i start to feel away because then i feel like well girl then i feel you because i'm like girl you kept me around but bitch you had x'd me out as soon as you knew i was cool with this woman and then for furthermore now I'm making it about me, but girl, then I get mad at Milagro because, bitch, how dare you get upset that I motherfucking made this, had a phone call with this woman, and bitch, you the reason why she probably don't fuck with me. Girl, I'm gagging. But to simplify it, it's no different than a bitch sitting up there having two friends who don't like each other and you know both of their business. That's exactly what it is. And the moment you get mad at one, you go run and tell the other just on some venting shit. But that bitch using it for ammunition. I cannot she fault take her. Shots with Santana, I, listen, I understand what you're saying, Cookie. <laughs> Just because she does it to other people don't mean she got to be dumb enough to get it done to her. Facts. Mm. This is what Milagro's grandma said to the Paris Paradise girl because when she was giving Armand Wiggins the breakdown between the Cardi B and Joe Button argument, Armand said he missed it because he was pretty busy. He was caught up in some personal things, whatever he was doing. So the Paradise Paris girl was giving the breakdown. So she did start off saying, you know, Tasha K, you know, because Cardi B mentioned that, you know, Tasha K talked about her child and you sat down and you did an interview. She was saying Joe Button saying that's why, why she can't really fool with Joe Button, okay? So, Armand Wiggins was like, oh, Milagro's Graham, so he brought up Milagro's Graham. I think Armand got confused. I think he meant to say Tasha K, but he brought up Milagro's Graham. And so, you know, as the Par um, Paradise Paris girl, she was continuing to break down everything. Then when, Mal um, when Armand said Milagro's Graham, she was like, yeah, the Milagro's Graham, she's cool with 8K academic and also Joe Button. And she went to ramble on about, you know, Milagro's Graham as a, you know, commentator, uh, personality, you know, gossip personality and her, what she does, and how she do salacious commentary for clickbaits and clicks and views when you don't like a certain artist. And, you know, um, Amon Wiggins was kind of like alluding to, oh, well, dang, that's probably why Cardi B been kind of iffy and kind of like, you know, fooling, um, looking at me sideways and kind of distancing me because you know what I linked up with Milagro's Graham you know doing this whole Tory Lange's trial and she didn't kind of like that but of course she didn't say nothing to Armand but she just kind of backed away and kept her distance because she didn't like how they was kind of like you know meeting up hanging and you know being friends and chopping it up and you know they was doing little commentary together Cardi B didn't like it because the fact that she don't like Milagro's Graham because of their past history and the commentary that Milagro's Graham continued to do um, regarding Cardi B and it's not really in a good light, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it's biased commentary. So our mom was like, I understand if, you know, somebody talked about my child in, in a very disrespectful manner, I wouldn't want to, you know, be associated with them either or anybody that's kind of, you know, associated with that person who I don't like. So our mom started to put his two cents. So the Paradise Paris girl was kind of like agreeing and stuff and saying she agreed with Cardi B how she feel because you know what? You basically linking up with ops, person I don't like who dragged my child. And, you know, we supposed to be cool, but you with this person, you know what I'm saying, who I don't like. So now, not that I don't have a problem with you, I got to distance myself from you because I don't trust you. You could be telling this person all my business behind my back. Who's to say? And this person, like I said, you know, they don't like me. They could be going to my ops and whatever information you're feeding them. So that's what they was kind of saying. So, like I said... Milagros Graham kind of, I guess, added the Paradise Paris girl. So that was going back and forth. I'm going to post those Twitter exchange. It's a lot. You know, I don't want to read it because it can make this video re really, really, really long. But Milagros felt some type of way. But like I said, you know, Milagros Graham was right. I got to agree 
her name was brought up by default and they got confused with Tasha K with a Milagros Graham because it was not Milagros Graham who talked about Cardi B child when it come down to, you know, her skin, her being darker skin and the reason why Cardi B allegedly don't want to bring her outside, which is all untrue. This is what Tasha K said, not Milagros Graham. So Milagros Graham was right and she wanted the Paradise Paris girl to kind of correct that. And she was just kind of like, you need to correct it because you know what I'm saying? Y'all use my name and that was not me. Okay. And so her and the Paradise Paris girl, Paris girl was going back and forth. And she was just like, you know what? You know, I don't, like she stand on principle. You know, a lot of things she was saying, Milagros Graham inside her, um, on her Twitter spaces. She, uh, Milagros Graham feel like, you know what? They intentionally spent this false narrative to put the blame on her and make her look like, a, you know, the problem started, the ish started when it comes out of Cardi B, which a lot of times she did. She do dress Cardi B on, on a probably daily basis now because Cardi B is always in a blog and she does buy its commentary. But she was just saying, I didn't say this and I don't want my name behind this. And y'all kind of like trying to, you know, be messy over there on spaces by mentioning me when y'all know it was Tasha K. Again, I'm going to let y'all listen to the audio because I believe they kind of, you know, like a, a mom might have been a little bit tired or he could have been hot. Because you can see when he was talking his, you know, he, I don't, I, I don't feel like he was sharp and on point. It felt like he was kind of slurring as he was talking. So I'm going to sum it up. He could have been tired or he could have been, you know, high as a kite because he did say, you know, Milagros Graham. Because remember, recently Milagros Graham been into this whole situation with Cardi B. And, you know, she kind of, you know, talked about the whole BT situation. And then Cardi B was like, you know, you talked about my child. So that's what a child thing has recently been brought up because Cardi B cursed Milagros Graham out. And she brought up what she said about her daughter in the past. So I think when, you know, that kind of popped up in our mind. And so he automatically thought of Milagros Graham when he meant to say Tasha K. So I think it was an honest mistake. But you know what? Y'all can give y'all opinion when y'all listen to the audio, which I'm going to play. Now, I am, I'm definitely going to get messy because while we're talking about the Milagros Graham, we're talking about Cardi B and what has been said about her child. And, you know, I had did commentary and I had said allegedly in, in doing one of my videos because I didn't verify and see or hear Milagros Graham, you know what I'm saying, talk about Cardi B child culture. So I didn't want to say, oh, yes, you know, she said this without, you know, confirming with my own two eyes and my two ears listening. But I was able to get a audio clip that I had heard that came up in my timeline last week. I told you, when you do commentary about certain bloggers, all these past videos pop up. And I want to shout out the channel where I had listened to this audio which is a mob radio audio that probably happened some years ago. I don't know the timeline, but the name of the channel that posted it is called Tria Moonshine. Tria Moonshine. And she got 322 subscribers. She has a lot of Milagros Graham videos, I guess, from her station head or, you know, when she does her spaces. And one of the audio, you know, Milagros Graham is kind of alluding to. Now, she keeps it anonymous. She don't say Cardi B name and she don't kind of like name her child culture, but she's talking like, like if she's talking as a third person, you know what I'm saying? And she's saying that, you know, she's seen a commenter or follower do a post and was alluding to their child being autistic and she know the signs of autism within a child. And I guess this person was saying that she see little autistic ways in culture and that, you know what, I guess Cardi B needs to, you know, look into that. And, and so uh, Milagros Graham was kind of agreeing to this. She was alluding to a culture being autistic. She didn't say that she was, but she was kind of alluding, kind of like confirming in so many ways. But she wouldn't name a name and she wouldn't name the child. But when I heard the audit, which I'm going to play it, now I see why Cardi B has the assumption that, you know what, you was kind of talking about my child. You kind of call my child autistic because... Milagros Graham, like I said, say that, you know what, she sees her, like the autism in a child, she sees it for herself. But she didn't say that, you know, culture was autistic. She said that she see the signs, but she's not going to name no names because people is going to be get very sensitive and they're going to come down on her and say she's a bad person. Gucci Mane has a child that is autistic, if I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but is the child autistic? And I'm going to say this. And I'm not going to say a name, and I'm, I'm not even going to go there because I understand how certain things come off when y'all think I don't like people. So you take everything and say, I, I can read the room. So, bitch, whatever. 
There's a celebrity who has a child who I see because they post them a lot who has some type of issue. And I can see it from a mile away. A mile away. And it first came to my attention when somebody, um, okay, thank you, Team Minaj. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check that out. Um, she got into it with somebody, and the person said, my son actually does this, and he's autistic, and I think that you should check this out. And the person took offense to it. I looked at it, and I said, wait, because I never paid attention. And I actually think that um, that person may have been on to something. And I think that people want to be offended so much, and we're so protective of our kids, and we're like hearing shit. But I would never forget the time that there was somebody on social media who had an enlarged throat, and somebody noticed it. And it saved their fucking life. They were able to go to the hospital because somebody said something, and they could go and deal with it. And so, you know, sometimes when people say shit on social media, it's not coming from a place of hate. It's coming from, hey, you might want to check on this and that. And then it's kind of, you know, there are some celebrities that get baby. Because, let me say this. It was all fair game to talk about Blue Ivy's hair. But Charlotte said a damn thing about blah, blah, blah speech. But that's what happens when you a nigga. Okay? Now, bitch, go check that. Okay? I'm finna move along. And you take it how you want to. I didn't say no name, so kiss my ass. Don't have time for it. Ain't, ain't worth the headache, honestly. Ain't worth the headache. But if, if you know, then you know. Lagos Graham brought up a scenario with Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy. Remember a couple of years ago, they had came down on her because they were saying her hair was nappy and it was uncombed and it's not really done. And people would say her hair needs to be combed. And so, you know what, Milagros Rim brought up that comparison. was like, oh, it's so easy for them to, you know, talk about a black child. But when it comes down to another child, you know what, it's not being talked about. You know, everybody talked about Blue Ivy having nappy, kicky hair. But how come, you know, the other child can't be talked about? So she kind of made this a colorist situation, um, Mob Radio. Again, so like I said, I'm going to play the audio. Now, I'm going to give you my opinion, my assumption. Milagros Graham, you did allude to Cardi B daughter, you know what I'm saying, culture as being autistic. You may, you may not have said her name. You may not have verbally said she's autistic, but you alluded to it. Okay, you was kind of co-signing what this person, you know, you was reading a comment what this person was saying regarding her daughter. You was kind of sighing, you was agreeing to it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you may, not, you may not have said her name or Cardi B name, but we all knew who you was talking about. Okay, we, we know the subs. Okay, we know the subliminals. Some people can read between the lines. So, I think you was being condescending and you was, like I said, being manipulative. And you knew who you was talking about, but you didn't have to say a name. You understand? There's many ways that you could throw a lot of shade and throw subs and people can catch it. So, I see why people have been saying that you did talk about... Cardi B child culture and saying she's autistic. How do you know? Like you, you don't, you, you don't know. You haven't seen her child in person. You just seen video clips and you're saying that she posts this child a lot. You know what I'm saying? Just because she posts her a lot, that gives you access to know and give this girl a diagnosis. Like if you a medical doctor or a medical personnel and you can make these assumptions and, and these diagnoses off of a video from the internet, her daughter do talks. Okay, her daughter should be about what, four, five, nine? Nah. She should be about four, no matter of fact, five or six. I'm not sure. But how can you sit up there and look at video clips? I don't care if it was two hours, a two hour live and assess that this girl is autistic and she has some type, some type of, you know what I'm saying, like issue, a syndrome. That's crazy. You was being very malicious and like I said, you was being nasty. Yeah, you may not have called her name and said Carly B name, but we know what you was alluding to and we, you know you were taking dicks. And you was throwing your subliminals. So now, like I said, I can confirm, yeah, she did call Cardi B daughter autistic. But just without saying her name. Just condescending behavior. And very manipulative behavior. So you, like I said, you were trying to hide by the commenter comment and what she said just to have a valid reason. So I see what you were doing. But I can confirm that, yeah, Milagros Graham did, you know what I'm saying, allude to Cardi B oldest daughter culture being autistic and she said that you know she could spot a mile away but she don't want to say nothing because she don't kind of you know what i'm saying want to be painted as a bad person but but again what is your intentions 
What is your points? You cannot diagnose somebody when you don't have a medical background. You're not even licensed. Okay? And you don't have a degree in this area. See, this is what I'm talking about people, about people playing doctors and, you know what I'm saying, acting like, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they got degrees and stuff. And a lot of them probably got honorary degrees. Look, <laughs> but like I said, like, that's really low and that's just distasteful. It's trashy behavior. You can have a great dislike for this artist, but to kind of talk about somebody's children and allude to them having some type of syndrome or Down syndrome or being autistic is very malicious. So I see why she, you know, have a great dislike and hate the Milagros Graham girl. And I can see why every time she put her name in her mouth and she has enough, she always, you know, throws subs and curse her out. Because she has valid reasons. I don't like this because I know how I am about my child. You got one time to put your mouth on my child who's innocent. And like I said, you're going to have, you know, hell, you know, hell is going gonna, is gonna to turn over when it comes down to me, when it comes down to my children. So I, I, like I said, you know. Even though she's fighting with the Paradise Paris girl. See, I don't know these names. I'm trying to say it right. The Paradise Paris girl. And she's saying that, oh, no, I didn't talk about this girl child. But yes, you did on a different occasion, on a different day. You're not innocent. You're trying to walk away from this unscathed. Yes, they got the names confused. They meant to say Tasha K. And you know that, you know what, they might have just said your name by accident. But you wouldn't have a reason to argue and, I guess, be part of this whole narrative with Amon and you want to have a reason to respond and, and throw shade and clap back again. I keep telling y'all, I can see that Malag, I mean, not uh, Malago's Grimm. I believe that Amon Wiggins is, she's going to be the next one he drags. They're going to drag each other. She's going to spill Amon, Amon Wiggins tea, whatever he told her. Because I believe both of them got a lot of receipts amongst each other. The fallout was going to continue to happen. And like I said, the shade is going to continue to happen. But when it comes down to that situation that I assessed last night, that I seen, you know, early this morning, I believe it was a true, you know, honest mistake. I feel like Milagros Graham just trying to get some get back and just trying to have a reason to blame Amon. Now, Amon did mention Milagros Graham. I know he said that he was going to pay. He was done with her and he's not going to mention her name, but he did. Again, Amon seemed like he might have been high as a kite on this spaces and he probably didn't mean to mention Milagros Graham. It got caught up in a conversation, but he did mention her. Even though he said last week he wasn't going to mention her, he's done with her, but they have been mentioning each other. I told y'all. A lot of them hide on that station head. They had on those spaces. They talked the ish, and then they private the video where everybody else can't see. And this is why I'm going to always do biased commentary because I'm never going to get uh, the full side of the story. And what I'm not going to do is pay a certain amount of money to see a video that you basically recorded on a public platform. I'll post I'm not going to do it. Okay, get somebody else to do it. If I don't see it on YouTube and I don't see it, like, where's to the public, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to do my commentary. I'm going to do it. But I'm going to say that Milagros Graham have a right to feel some type of way because they did bring up her name. And it wasn't her that said that particular situation regarding culture and Cardi B child. But she was part of another conversation. She That was just the wrong conversation. So she has valid reasons to be upset. Okay, but I don't I really don't think it was intentional. And y'all know I'm all gonna throw shade and talk ish. She just got finished dragging two other bloggers. And then like I said, mind you, which I don't understand, it's a lot of backhand stuff that be going on, a lot of behind the scenes stuff that we're not privy to. I keep telling you, a lot of these followers that record everything that you say in these spaces on station head and they bring it back. And then like I said, it gets to the person who they you know secretly privately dragging, it gets to them, get back to them. And then you wonder why they're shading this person. But that's because we don't see everything that's happening because a lot of videos, and a lot of posts get took down every minute, every second of the day. So if you're not there when they post it, you're going to just miss out. That's why I say it's a lot of back and forth with this stuff. I cover what I can. And hey, if I miss, it, I just miss. It, it is what it is, because a lot of people, they like to talk that ish. They want to pop their gums, but then they don't want to you know, leave it public. They want to do it private. OK, if it ain't direct, it ain't respected. Don't go hiding over there, like I said, on Spaces and all these other platforms and Rumble and all these little Patreons and stuff and talk ish. And then at innocent, when a person drag you or when the information get back, you act surprised. I ain't got time to play these games. But like I said, Milagros Graham do got the right to feel some type of way when it come down to her name being mentioned. But at the same time, I heard her mention, you know, Amal Wiggins name this, this week, even though she said she was done talking about him and she ain't going to mention. So like I said, immature painting this between both people. Still sour, um, you know what I'm saying? Still harboring your feelings, feeling some type of way is to be expected. But like I said, um, yeah, Amon Ma- Wiggins did allude to, you know, what, you know, him being, you know, friends with Milagros Graham might have caused tension between him and Cardi. It might have caused tension, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, y'all. And that's all I got to say, and I will catch y'all later.